oxygen does everything totally different. It takes over the entire theme and gives you the option to do a custom header and footer and everything else that you want to. In this case, I set up oxygen initially and I just said, give me a blank empty site because I wanted to be able to define exactly what I wanted and I didn't want it to assume anything. So for this case, it's very basic and I wanted to just get down to the basics for this because I didn't want to get any, anywhere in, in any way confusing for this presentation. Inside of the individual editor for Oxygen, you can go edit the, the page or the uh, post and you can click edit into the Oxygen editor and you'll see this screen here. You'll notice that I've already added some stuff. This is the favorite book of 2020 and I've already set it up with a couple of different items. Uh, I have a heading and I have um, a, a list of posts. In this case, I'm using the easy post uh, component and you'll find that here if you click add at the top left, you'll find that under the helpers section in easy uh, posts and uh, let's switch to it. So you can see here there's three different sections and then there's an advanced section. So it's easy to get mixed around because once you're in here, you want to look back at these two and it gets confusing to where you are You are exactly. So you need to remember you have to go back to here. Uh, you can also click primary and uh, you'll notice that it does allow me to do a specific query ID check here so I can limit it by the post ID and that worked perfectly for my needs. And then I went into the template and it has a PHP templating process. So you're actually entering the same templating code you would use inside of your theme uh, itself in PHP. So this does require some PHP knowledge if you want to customize it. It's not as easy to use for short codes and such, but, but this specific component is PHP powered and that is where it, all of the power lies within. Now moving on to the singular template. You can see here I've set up a couple of different things for both the pods page and the ACF page for, for books. And let's go ahead and edit that. And I've got my content and everything else is there. And you'll notice there's no way to edit this template from the screen. So that's something you'll need to, to be aware of. You'll have to go into your oxygen section and go to templates and you'll see that I already have two different templates set up, one for each of the post types, but uh, I could combine them if I really wanted to. And let's go ahead and edit one of them. And this one's, like I said, you can combine them, but I have separate. And you can open up your, your oxygen editor. Okay, so this is the template view for the oxygen editor. And I have, um, again, I have a heading here and, and you can add those types of things. Like you wanna add the singular um, information like the post title. It's under the add section, go to add, and it's under the WordPress dynamic data area. So you'll wanna, you'll be able to add title, content, featured image. That's what I ended up doing here for a lot of different things. I have some headings here, but then here, here's a tricky part. So rich text, I can't actually find any way to insert the, the uh, there's no buttons to click in. I could use short codes from them, but I, I didn't know them. And so I didn't want to assume anything. But then when I went into the text component, so if you add a text component, that's under basics and there's text and there's rich text. I, rich text didn't have it, but text does. So once you go in here and you double click, you'll be able to see that you're actually editing content. You can still make things bold with some uh, just initial formatting stuff. And then um, you can then click into it and there's this insert data section here and you can choose to add different things based off of pods, or maybe it was an advanced custom field, uh, or perhaps you wanna just type it in yourself, ISBN, and all that stuff just works. So this is what it looks like for output for pods. And obviously, like the other builders, it's not the best. This one's better. Uh, I built a pods integration for, for Oxygen uh, as part of this presentation to make sure I was able to get the right data out, and hopefully, hopefully it's helpful for everyone else. Uh, we're gonna release it to our friends of pods. And then you can see here, this is a custom field co uh, component. And this one's a little weird. So if I go and add a new text field, there's my text field. And now I'm going to insert something. And I'm gonna say, uh, I want to output the field there. Uh, that works. Now, if I do the same thing and put text here, actually, let's do it from this other angle. WordPress, dynamic data, custom field. This is where it does get weird. So if I type in ISBN here, 
you don't see anything. It's, it's, it's just empty. So that, that's really jarring. I have no idea where that is. And it does have a little handy structure thing here where you can look at everything and you can see uh, there's a text field, there's a text field there, and there's a div, and there's my text field. So, so this was the one right here, which was just a text field where I inserted some content. And this one is another one where it, it has the WordPress dynamic data custom field entered, but it doesn't appear until I then save and then I have to go either refresh the screen. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. It's buggy. So just be aware of that as you dive into this. There are some caveats in the Oxygen Editor for that purpose. And then if we're looking at the, the ACF side, uh, again, they have um, ACF fields does do some parts of this, but it's very basic. The ACF integration within Oxygen is very basic, so it doesn't handle label handling and, and all the nice stuff uh, that, that we have built for the pods one. So you'll need to be aware that you'll probably have to do some custom short codes work here to output the way that you want it to output.